Uh, it's decent morning, and we got a lot of cloud cover. We're hoping that this Sunday we've got some beautiful weather for a big event that's happening for the Ottawa Fury for the soccer, and this time for the Ottawa women's soccer. They alternate every year. Uh, joining us to talk about this uh, day is uh, Graham Arvery from the Ottawa Fury, the uh, Media and Communications Director. So great to have you here. Thanks for having us. And also joining us from Breast Cancer Action, uh, Julia Ringma. So uh, wonderful because the two kind of a great partnership happening. This is the fourth year that you guys have done this, that you've fourth dedicated a, a day, a game to, to kind of creating awareness. Let us know about it. Yeah, so it's, we call it our, our annual think pink game and uh, support of breast cancer action Ottawa and something that uh, an intern who was tasked with kind of uh, doing some game day promotions for us four years ago uh, something that he put together and uh, it was a success the first year and here we are heading into to year number four so uh, I think it's a, a really great opportunity uh, you know for, for something for our club to do and it's really something that the players get behind a lot, which is what we really want to see out of it. I think it's great for, for the promotion of, uh, of what this cause does. Well, I think, too, because you've alternated it between the men's and the women's teams, but really when you're talking breast cancer, you, to, to think of some of those young women on the field, that, that they are sisters, their mothers, and eventually possibly even statistically themselves could be battling this one day. Was it nice to see this uh, organization come on board as one of the fundraisers for you guys? It's great. We, we get local um, people supporting us as a local charity. We're a small local charity. And so we're always looking to promote ourselves or to get ourselves known uh, because we're there to support people in the community who've been diagnosed. And um, unlike the mega charities that say uh, raise millions and millions for research, we're, we're there to help people who have already been um, diagnosed with the problem and uh, help support them in whatever way we can. So. This is something that not only are you, you are part of the, the foundation and part of the organization, but they're also breast cancer survivors. Yes. So it, there's kind of a double meaning for you, especially to when you're speaking about this organization. Oh, sure. I joined them um, about a year after I was diagnosed. Um, actually, I joined them at the pre-op information session that we have, um, and they sounded like a good organization. But then I went through all the treatment, and then when my hair started coming back, that's when I started, I joined them. Uh, on the board, and um, they do good work. You know, they were there for people who um, uh, just don't know where to turn, don't know who to ask questions for. You're overwhelmed mm -hmm. with everything. And so we have programs, exercise programs are a big foundation. We have a dragon boat team, we have these support groups, but all the little um, organizations that raise, not little organizations, <laughs> the organizations that raise. Um, bits of money for us here and there get us known in the community and then we link with them and, and it's all a, a big partnership which is wonderful. It is great to see the girls get on board and the players last year got on board with the guys but so how will it work in terms of the fundraising efforts and, and building awareness over the course of the day? Uh, so uh, we're really happy that uh, one of our one of our partners uh, promo media has sponsored all of the shirts for the girls so all the girls during their warm-ups are going to wear these these pink shirts um, and then they're going to sign them uh, each of them and that's going to be one of the uh, silent auction items and this is something that we've done for for about three years now with the shirts um, it's been a great hit there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of young players especially a lot of young girls mm -hmm. um, that idolize these female players that we have here in Ottawa for the summer um, so those going to go into the silent auction all the money's go to, to breast cancer action Ottawa we have a lot of other silent auction items uh, raffles that go on uh, the concession stand is selling some uh, some pink candies uh, in honor of our Think Pink Day, and all those monies will go towards the cause as well. So uh, we usually get a great turnout. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, uh, Mother Nature plays nice for us as well to, to help yes. out the event, and uh, we're looking forward to it. So. Well, I think it's remarkable that you know an intern set out with an assignment, it comes up with right. something, and four years later it continues to be able to give back to the community and that the girls are completely on board. And, and you know what, as we've learned with so many of these players, these are players that whose names we could be seeing on the back okay. of uh, an Olympic jersey, you know, Very playing soccer so. as well. Yeah. So uh, keep in mind, it's July the 7th, the game's being played at the Algonquin uh, College Field, uh, 3 o'clock start. Who are you guys playing that day? Quebec City. Quebec City. So good game. Uh, very good. Good game uh, and a great way to be able to support also the uh, the Ottawa Fury, the, the women's club as well. July 7th, keep that in mind at the uh, Algonquin College uh, uh, field.